Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to thank you all for this opportunity. It is a distinct pleasure. I'd also like to thank my supervisor, Ms. Mutipani Chavalala, who co-authored with me, and the department for funding it. My name is Puingot Lopeche. I'm a recent BCom Honours and IT Management graduate from the University of Johannesburg. Today, I'll be presenting my honours research paper about the importance of innovation in agile project management. So existing literature suggests that the major aim of adopting agile is to improve innovation across all functions of the business. Therefore, if innovation and agile mindset or what can sustain the response into the ever-changing IT landscape, there should be some degree of interrelation between these concepts. With that said, the presentation will be structured as follows. We'll start with the motivation and the problem area and move on to the objectives, followed by the methodology, and then we'll look at the major outcomes and their significance, and lastly, a conclusion. As we start off by looking at the motivation and problem area, we'll start by looking at the two aims of the paper. The first aim was to understand the impact of innovation towards successful delivery of agile development projects. The second aim was to understand the extent to which innovation and innovation efforts can foster successful implementation and delivery of such development projects. So what this means is that the adoption of Agile as an approach to managing IT development projects has provided a room for some degree of such innovation. However, we need to ask ourselves, do organizations cater and understand the need to encourage innovation to help deliver IT development projects successfully? Also, how do these organizations then foster such innovation and innovation efforts that can assist in the management and delivery of such projects? So to give a bit of a background, there is a gap in the industry regarding knowledge about how to embrace innovation. Companies are used to doing things the conventional way, especially when they already have a strong customer base and generate an, enough revenues already. And it's especially re uh, relevant to IT companies that are guilty of this habit. According to a study by Accenture Consulting, only 10% of companies they have surveyed have transformed their core business and that 85% of South African companies are vulnerable to disruption. So they also note that just 7% of South African companies compared to 14% of companies globally are innovating using digital technologies to grow their core business. Now that we've established the motivation and problem area, we're quickly going to have a look at the research objectives. The first objective was to define innovation within the context of agile project management. So we already know what innovation and agile project management are as separate concepts. However, in this paper, we're trying to figure out how we can show their interrelation by asking what is innovation and agile project management. The second objective is to evaluate the role of project management or project managers towards leading innovation efforts. It's important to understand what exactly the project manager does to embrace innovation as they are the vital part of any project management framework. They are the head of the project and they lead the rest of the team. So it is important to know what they use and how they use it to lead the rest of the team to a successful project. The third objective was to identify outcomes of innovation and supported innovation efforts within Agile projects. This begs to ask the question of what are the qualities of innovation in IT projects? By striving for innovation, we should be able to see some sort of positive result or quality gained from it. Moving on to the research methodology section, so this study was conducted through a quantitative approach whereby a questionnaire was created using Google Forms and distributed through LinkedIn, which received a total of 64 participants out of 100 that was sent out. 
It's also good to note that ethical clearance was obtained before the study could commence and the study actually ran for three months from July till October or so. The questionnaire had closed-ended questions using a liquid scale or rating from 1 to 5 and so forth and with regards to purposive sampling the study was limited to organizations or professionals in the IT and agile project management field for at least three years as well as individuals who have adopted innovation in their IT projects. The data was analyzed through Microsoft Excel and SPSS using descript descriptive statistics. When it comes to the major outcomes, the results have been grouped into three sections according to the three objectives. Looking at innovation and agile, it's good to note that Scrum and Kanban are the most prevailing frameworks, not only in popularity, but they show a strong relationship between them and their efficiency in supporting innovation and innovation efforts within teams. So Scrum is quite popular and is widely known for the way it works in sprints and delivering value throughout the project. Another thing is that open innovation is the preferred model in terms of how it seeks to discover the unknown or the undiscovered. And lastly, encouraging innovative capacity is considered a very critical success factor in the deployment and management of agile development environments. Looking at the project management leading innovation efforts in Agile environment section. So scheduling project training sessions came up as one of the most important activities that a project manager has to has to do because it's important for the team to have time to um, regular meetings to keep track of progress and find new solutions. And another thing is that they have soft skills that are important in team dynamics. These include listening to others, conflict resolutions, conducting effective meetings, and so forth. Because they deal with different people, it's important for them to engage and find ways to resolve conflicts as they arise and playing a strong leadership role. So it makes sense why those soft skills are important in team dynamics. And lastly, to look at the tools that they need to use to lead innovation, Jira and Trello are the prevailing tools and we already know that they are also widely popular and widely used as they are making waves in the Agile project environment. Furthermore, when we look at the innovation efforts and qualities in Agile project section, this goes back to the objective or question of what are the outcomes of innovation within Agile development projects? So the study revealed that the most noticeable outcome brought by innovation is the increase in work rate or productivity, followed by sales and growth, and lastly, the benefit of convenience. Now, this can lead to the overall low project cost. So most organizations support innovation towards existing business model because this improves profits immensely and ultimately determines an organization's success and survival. Again, the efforts could lead to other benefits and outcomes such as attaining a bigger market since innovation efforts foster development of new techniques and methods of doing things. Now, this means that if an organization decides to embark on including or embracing innovation into their IT projects or agile development projects, one of the main quality or outcome that they would attain would be the increase in productivity, followed by sales and growth, and lastly, convenience. As we reach the end of the presentation, we can close this off by saying that there is a constant change driven by the constant change in customer needs and demands. And we can also say that organizations are going above and beyond to address these demands. Now, this is specifically relevant within the context of 
software development. It's also evident that organizations tend to neglect innovation and its importance towards successful development and deployment of their software development projects. Now, you would wonder why they do this because it does lead to the inefficiency in responding to the ever-changing market demands and requirements. Throughout this paper, we have tried to address this and have come up to a brief conceptual framework that summarizes the main idea that organizations should use agile tools to support their desired mindful innovation in IT projects, while project managers also adopt these tools to contribute to innovation in addition to the roles that they play. So this means that not only should we know what project manage managers are supposed to do, but we're supposed to also know what they should use to achieve these goals. As mentioned above, this is the conceptual framework that summarizes how agile tools such as Jira and Trello support mindful agile innovation, which also includes the project manager's support and contribution, and also how they should adopt these tools to support the agile innovation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for this opportunity. It has been quite a pleasure, and I do hope that my paper has contributed to the knowledge economy and that you will read my paper. Thank you so, so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.